Uh, we've discovered that most people don't like to be talked at, but a lot of people really enjoy being engaged. And so we've created an experience for middle school and high school students today, sponsored by the American Legion, the Sons of the American Legion, and the U.S. Army, as well as our organization, Moving People. Uh, we've done close to 200 of these programs over the last five years. The Army's been our presenting sponsor. We partnered with uh, Michael Peterson and the Legion to bring this program to the, to the high school. We've invited, um, I believe we had over a dozen schools here today. This originally started out as the Sons of the American Legion program in our dis district, 5th district here in Ohio. Uh, and as we got into it, we decided, uh, you know, we do have an American Legion family and we wanted to uh, invite all factions of it, uh, the uh, American Legion, uh, the, the Legionnaires, the Auxiliary, and the Rider chapters within our district. So actually this, this whole program today was presented by the American Legion family in the 5th district state of Ohio. It was a great opportunity to host this program. We're really fortunate and thankful that we were able to do that. Uh, you know, it's, I think it's worthwhile to ask when, what you hope for as an intended outcome from a program like this. And there are many things. Uh, I think relevant, sustainable relationships that are born out of a day like today where recruiters have a chance to engage with teachers and with students in ways that they might not have before. Where the American Legion, the sons of the American Legion, having a chance to engage in programs inside of a school to create an awareness on the behalf of the school that, that the Legion and the Sons of the American Legion are a resource that want to help them in the community. For a chance for the people in the service organizations to experience an open door at a school that maybe they didn't have before. Hopefully after we leave, those things will remain in place. Um, last but not least, my, my greatest hope is that young people today will walk away with a set of questions that are simple, easy to repeat and likely to be repeated. And that these questions will empower their life and we'll introduce students today to the idea that it's choice, not chance, that determines a person's destiny. So our choices show up as our story. Tell me about yourself. Well, let me tell you my story, right? So here's the set of questions we hope students will leave with today that we believe will empower their lives. What is your story? Is it uh, worth looking at the possibility that your story is on some level something you helped to co-create. Why did you choose that story? You know, whatever the story we're talking about, whether it's about your chemistry teacher or about yourself. And last but not least, how's that working out for you? <laughs> and the truth is, if it's not working out that well for you, well, you have the power to shift, change directions, change the way you look at things, and see that you actually can affect the outcomes of your life with the use of your language. It's a powerful thing. Michael's message is to talk to young people to try to take charge of your life, to, to not just listen to the naysayers, to not listen to the stereotypes or anything, but to, to sort of chart their own destiny. I think that's a great message for Michael. And, and he's really telling kids, look, life's an improvisation. You're going to get things thrown at you. You can't count on all of them. Some days are good, some days are bad. But how you view that is up to you. And that's something that we try to come across to the, to the young men and women today. You can take charge of your destiny, or you can let somebody else take charge of it. Or you can just show up for work every day and hope things work out for you. We as a values-based organization partner with them because it's a perfect fit. What does courage mean, personal courage? I think his message really speaks, it seems to resonate with the young people that I talked to just after the, the, the presentation. And, um, and we're excited to be partnered with them. Where I was standing, I was more watching the kids, and they were all very, very attentive. From the start of the program to the end of the program, they paid attention, they listened. I'm sure if you asked them, they got a lot out of today's program. Well, we had a good group of students today, and I'm sure that everyone here that, uh, that witnessed the program uh, that Michael presented to them uh, will leave here with a very positive attitude and, and it is really something that, that will change their life. I know it will mine.